This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in Old School RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 Lava Dragons for a Visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. In this episode, the goal will be to complete up to 100 fight caves and collect 100 fire capes with the goal of achieving the coveted Jad pet. The pet has a drop rate of 1 in 200 from completing the fight caves, but you also have the option to gamble the fire cape for an additional chance at the pet at a rate of 1 in 200 as well, making the drop rate if all capes are sacrificed a 1 in 100. But with that said, let me introduce you to the enemies I will be fighting during this video in the fight caves. The Tsuki, a level 22 bat that only uses melee but drains your prey by 1 each time it hits you. So Kek, level 45 chonky boy that one killed, splits into two smaller chonkers. Tsuxil, level 90 surprised Pikachu face, this monster is the ranger but can hit you with melee if you get too close. It may cut, level 180 cultist leader of the Wrath community. This NPC strictly uses melee but can also heal itself or nearby enemies if in melee distance with you. Ketsek, level 360 very angry lizard boy. This is the mage version of the ranger, stay out of melee range and pray magic. And lastly we have Tsutok Jad, level 702 and the final encounter of the fight caves. Defeat him and you have a completed run on your hands. When Jad stomps, pray ranged. When Jad stands up on his back legs, you pray magic. At the halfway point of the encounter, he will spawn healers slowly walking towards him. As I will be using this gear set up right here on the screen, I have enough damage to ignore them most of the time and damage through their healing, resulting in a fire cape obtained and a run completed. But there we go, that is overall two kill counts. But this is the only video ever in the Undroperate series where I'm going to be counting the first KZ in as well. So we're actually on 2KC now because I still have the fire cape from when I did that. And the 1KC had its 1 in 200 chance as well. So we will be able to gamble the fire cape that I already have. But I guess it's time to go again. What are you doing in my video? What is happening? Hey, what about my world? What's wrong with it? Are you from some type of childish game? That is not true. Hero Wars has vibrant graphics, cool gameplay, and a user-friendly interface. All right. Then let's give it a try. Yeah, tell them more about it. This video is sponsored by Hero Wars. In Hero Wars, everyone can find a character to suit themselves. We have cyborgs, aliens, vampires. Listen, even furries won't be disappointed. I've been playing for two weeks, but uh, I've only unlocked a third of them. Next one I'm going to unlock is Chaba. He's an awesome tank who literally devours his enemies. But the absolute S tier character is Celeste. She can switch between a DPS dark form and a healer light form, which makes her super useful in basically any situation. Besides, look at this <laughs> outfit that I got for her. One of the best things about Hero Wars is that you can play it really anywhere on the subway, lectures, or even while playing something else. For example, RuneScape. It's super easy to start playing, but assembling a perfect team of heroes is an art in itself. For example, Mojo the Shaman can heal Darkstar the Elf as efficiently as the other Grandma Martha can, while the Slow Cleaver makes a great pair with the Swift Isaac. Hero Wars is a world of 6 unique modes, more than 300 Guild Wars servers and 100 million players. You can play alone or see who amongst you and your friends is the absolute best. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot, here's a question for you. Where can you get 30,000 coins, 600 emeralds and 5 awesome heroes to start dominating in Hero Wars right away? Well, too slow. The answer is in the link in the description below and play Hero Wars right now by clicking on that or the pinned comment. Thanks again to Hero Wars for sponsoring the video. Second jab down, this was quite a lot faster actually, two minutes faster I believe, and are we going to get lucky and get the pet? We do not. Because I'm going to be doing so many fire capes and I don't want to like high focus the entire time, I'm going to swap my ring from Archer's Ring to the Ring of Suffering, just in general getting some more tankiness because I'm not protecting against the Meliers or the Rangers, and if I have some defense and the Rings of Recoil actually can hit some damage back, that is going to help me out in the caves. On top of the Ring of Suffering, I am also now bringing Bastion Potions, which is a ranged potion that also gives a defense potion boost. So with that, 
Look at this, I can just basically tank the Meliors. They can definitely still hit me, but it is not nearly as often as I was before, which is really nice because the AFKing this is very nice to be able to do. And would you look at that? I guess the Archer's Ring doesn't do that much because even with the Ring of Suffering, we had a new personal best. So I think this is definitely the ring I'm going to be using. An extremely fast run, 30 minutes and 24 seconds, and we also got a Master Combat Task, which is 5kc, I believe, a 5 caves Master. Also, there could be some nice combat achievements to actually work towards while doing this grind. Actually, just looking at some of these tasks, I think I can complete some of them in the next run. For example, this one, never get hit by a bat. That is a pretty easy task for being a Master Task. I just have to make sure I just run away from them every single time, but the speedrunner of the Grand Master level is kind of ridiculous, 26 and a half minutes. I think the only way I can do that is if I bring Vengeance and like try to cheese some of the mage minions, but that is probably going to require quite a different inventory and just overall different setup. So because I think it's very easy, I'm going to go for the one where I do not get hit by any of these bats in this run. Hopefully I will be able to do it, but it should not be that hard. Oh no 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 no, please no! Oh my god dude, sometimes the spawn locations of these bats is really scary. And sometimes they even just spawn on you pretty much, so it's kind of hard sometimes, but I haven't been hit yet, so it's going good so far. We are about to face the last bats of the entire cave. If I do not get hit by these, I am fine. Spawned pretty close to me, but can we hit a 40 XP? There we go. And the last one, if I hit this, we get the achievement pretty much. A one, and there it is. I think I should be good now. As long as I complete the caves, I should get the achievement. All right, let's see if I actually manage to do it. I should be fine, and uh, there we go. You didn't say anything about a bat. That is it. Very nice. That was not too bad. Oh, wait. Am I actually... I think I accidentally... Yeah, I did. Oh my god. I accidentally got the uh, <laughs> the achievement. It's a Grandmaster achievement to not let any of the healers heal the boss, and I my T-Bot just rambled, so nice. So there it is, we just hit the 10 kill count mark and we have 10 capes we are going to sacrifice now and I'm kind of interested in seeing how the interface is going to look for this but uh, after this I have no fire cape but that's fine, we are stuck here until I do get the pet. So let's have a look at how this actually looks, let's exchange fire cape, I'm probably going to be doing this every 10 capes that I get. So let's click here, I have a fire cape, I'm not going to sell it for Tockle, we're going to bargain it for the Jad pet. Let's do that. Yes, I know. That's a lot of things I have to go through. No lucky on the first one. But let's go ahead and keep going for it. Not lucky. I'm just waiting for that collection log stuff to pop up. That would be insane if that actually pops up. But I feel like it is going to be pretty unlikely. It is a, I guess, a 5% chance from all of these capes, which is kind of insane to actually get it. Because it does take a good amount of time to actually get all of these capes. We have five more to go. Let's keep on bargain. You're not lucky. It's not looking great. You're not lucky. How many tockle do you actually get if you turn it in? 8k. You basically get 8,000 tockle for completing the capes. So you could basically get double tockle if you want to just specifically farm tockle. I don't know if it's good for like Iron Man or something like that if you do need it. And we are down to the last one. Are we going to get the pet on this one? The answer is no. Now specifically for this video, usually how I do giveaways is that I would take 50% of the loot that I got during the grind and give it away to you guys if I lose, but there is really no loot from this. So what I'm going to be doing is, for every run that I do that do not give me the pets, I'm going to be giving away 1 million. That means if I go on raid for the pets, there's going to be a 100 million giveaway. Oh, this was a fast run. Can I get a 30 minute? Oh, is that last hit? No way, that is so close, we are going to be hitting just about 30 minutes, unfortunately. But that is a very fast run, 30 minutes and 7 seconds. Jad is a scary boy, he can hit up to 97 damage, but uh, I've brewed up to 103, so let's actually tank a hit and get another combat achievement. Please do not hit 97, oh 65, that's fine, I'm fine with that, now I just have to get the kill. And that is it, and that is also the combat achievement, a near miss. Another 6 hours have passed since 10 kill count, which means we have now done another 10 runs, landing at 20. No pet for this run, you actually get the pet if you get it from the kill itself right when the boss dies. But we do have another 10 capes to gamble, so let's go ahead and get that dopamine.
And here we are, the last cape. Let's go ahead and gamble it. You not lucky, maybe next time. I guess we're heading back into the caves. I'm going to do my best and actually try to complete this master task, complete the fight caves within less than 30 minutes. And I have been so close, as you guys saw before, 30.07. So I only need to shave off seven minutes of my fastest run. If I cannot do it with the setup that I'm using right now, just by trying my best and being as fast as possible, I might have to try to get Lunars and use some Vengeance Cheese. I will have to see what I can actually get done, and maybe I will have to swap out the Ring of Suffering just for the speed task for the Archer's Ring. We will have to see what I'll do, but let's actually just give it a try on this setup and do my best to do it as fast as possible. So we are now 16 and a half minutes in, we are on wave 44, and I think we are doing decent right now. I think we could be able to make it if we do have some nice hits. So let's see how we're going to be doing in a couple of minutes. 20 minutes have passed and we're on wave 50. Will I be able to do 13 waves, including Jad, in 10 minutes? I guess we'll see. Oh, I think that's it. I was getting so good hits. Oh my god. That is really good, almost a minute of my personal best, so actually exactly one minute uh, personal best, so I did not have to get to the, uh, the Lunar Spellbook, which is very nice. And that is 30 runs done, and we have another 10 capes to hand in, so let's see if these are going to be the one that I get the pet from. Well, it is not looking great, we have one left to go, and we are not lucky. 30 million has been added so far to the giveaway. Actually, a very big milestone completed right here. The halfway point of the entire grind on a mediocrely fast run, 33 minutes. It's not too bad. Anything between like 30 to 35 is usually fine. That inventory looks actually kind of surreal, honestly. Like if I saw that back in the days when the Fight Caves was actually like one of the highest tier content, I would think that was a private server. But let's go ahead and gamble it. And hopefully we're going to be lucky. Down to the absolute final cape. We did not get lucky at all this run. Let's go ahead. Last one. You not lucky. Maybe next time. We are now owing you guys 50 million GP this video so far. And just have a look at this. 50 overall fire capes on the collection log. Let's see where that ends. So now that we are on the halfway point, I am actually going to change it up a bit. Uh, what I'm going to be doing until 72 kill count from 50 is I'm going to be handing in the capes one by one after each completion. I'm not going to show this on video, but if I do get a pet, of course, I'm going to be showing that. But the reason why 72 specifically is that after that, if I have not got the pet yet, I want the last 28 capes of the potential grind to be in one inventory. Basically, a full inventory of fire capes to end off the grind. And if I do not get the pet on that full inventory of fire capes, well, then we have a 100 million giveaway to do. We have not died a single time actually on this entire video and we are now at 60 kill counts and we have another fire cape to hand in. Can we get lucky on this one? And we cannot. But actually if I relog right now, the fight caves and Jad is now officially the boss I am the highest rank on the leaderboards at. 2200, the previous highest one I had, which was kind of cheesy, was Briar Fighter with 125 KC at 3.4k. And of course, after doing even more fight caves than I'm going to be doing, I really wonder where I'm going to be ending on this rank. So right now we're on 63 kill counts, but I've noticed that my supplies are running a bit lower. If I look here, I have no more Bastion potions pretty soon, and also my Prey potions, I use quite a lot of these per run, and I started with like 1200 of them. So I'm going to be restocking to basically all the things that I need and how much I had in the beginning of the grind to see how much I actually spent so far and how much I'm probably going to be spending overall on this grind. Here is the answer, 32.3 million is basically how much I've used in supplies and I'm going to be buying it and not using all of this once again as I've already done 63 runs out of the potential 100. Also, I could of course get the pet anytime soon, but overall if we go all the way to 100 KC, it's going to be like a 50 million supply grind. And then also we have a giveaway to do after that, depending on how long it takes for me to get this pet. 
Oh, and by the way, when it comes to the Super Restores and the Sora Domain Brews, I barely use them. I use like one per run, so I've only really used like 60 of them each. We are now at 522,000 Tockle. I will be spending this on Onyxes at the end of the video, by the way, but this actually could have been doubled. If you already knew this and you've been thinking, why am I only getting 8,000 per run? Well, if you complete the Karamja Elite Diary, which requires 91 runecrafting and 87 herb lore, which is the reason I have not done this, you actually get double tockle. So if you're going to be doing this yourself, if you have the requirements to be able to do this, I would recommend you doing it, but I'm not going from 73 to 91 runecraft for double tockle. The last cape we're going to be handing in right away is right here. 72 kill count done. That was a rather slow run. I'm actually kind of slacking now AFKing most of the time, except the end, of course. I don't want to die. Let's exchange the cape. Are we going to get the pet on 72 kill count bargain? And we are not lucky. So now we're going all the way to 100 KC and stacking up 28 capes. And by the way, as I've said before, every single run that I do is 1 million to the giveaway where I do not get the pets. And now I'm not handing in the capes until I'm at 100 KC. So unless I actually get the pet from killing Jad himself at this point, the giveaway is going to be 100 million, which is by far the biggest giveaway I have ever done. I am well aware that the KC now is getting ridiculous and that the giveaway is pretty much guaranteed to be 100 million at this point. 90 KC has been achieved, only 10 more to go. And I am really getting excited about handing in this full inventory of fire capes. No pet has been obtained yet and we are 95 KC deep, only 5 more to go. Now, with a maximum of only four runs left to do, I do actually want to try and get these two achievements right here. The two Grandmaster ones that are a bit too steep for me, but this one should be doable. I can just never let any of the big Meliers that heal actually hit me. And then for the last cape, I might actually do it with melee, so that shouldn't be too hard. These are the guys I cannot let ever hit me, and hopefully I will get some good hits here on the T-Bow, because otherwise I am cornered. I think I'm fine, though. Ah, uh, please. This is why it's so scary. If it gets in many range one time with me, the challenge is done, and I have to do this for many, many waves. I knew this wave would be an absolute pain. <laughs> please do not hit me. Actually, have I cornered myself here? Can I get out of this situation? I don't even know if I can. Ah, uh, I think it's fine. I think that's fine. Yeah, the kiting is on point here. I think I should... <laughs> I think it should be fine, but that was definitely pretty scary. Am I, am I actually fine? Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Now I'm going to be assuming that the small healers that are healing the boss right now does not count. They have a different name. So hopefully this should be it. I think I didn't manage to get the achievement. I didn't get healed or hit by any of the big ones. And there it is. Denying the healers has been done. Now we just have two normal runs to do and I'll end off the grind with a melee run to get the last combat achievement. And there we go, 99kc, we only have one more run to go and that is going to be the melee run. This is the gear I'm going to be using and on top of this gear I'm going to be bringing, instead if I click on my inventory right now, two stamina potions because I will probably have to run quite a bit and some more sour brews. The only tricky part of the melee run is this right here. You have to wait for the major to attack and then run in and hit it, otherwise you can get chomped by a massive up to I think 60 or 50 melee hit, which is not great. And uh, I think the best way of dealing with it is the way that I'm doing now. Run in, hit once, and then run away. And make sure the timing is right, because otherwise you are going to feel it. Definitely not the fastest run I've ever done. 41 minutes, but I think this is going to be it. Facing Jad head-on is about to be completed, unless I get KO'd here. Would be very unfortunate. There we go. That is the combat achievement done. And on top of that, of course, the 100 KC completed for this video. So let's hand in 28 fire capes. Um, yeah, this definitely looks a bit ridiculous. A full inventory of fire capes, but that is exactly what I wanted. Let's go ahead and see if we can actually fill the collection log. It would be very nice to get this pet on 100 KC. And regardless if I would get the pet now on these capes, I'm going to be giving away 100 million. And on top of that, the onyxes that I can afford with all the tockle. So it's going to be even more than 100 million. But let's go ahead and exchange the fire capes and see if we get the pets.
And we are down to the last one. Please do give me the pet. I don't want to have to go back here in the future. But it's looking like I will have to. Yes, I know I won't get my K back. That is the last one. Actually, I will have to go back here sometime in the future to get my normal fire K back to actually use for myself. But the last one is going to be... You're not lucky. Maybe next time. So, we did not get the pet. Unfortunately, in 100kc, we are now officially going to be over the drop rate for this pet in the future. And with all the tockle, I could almost exactly just afford three onyxes, which is a good amount, honestly. And they are worth 6.7 million. So that is going to be added to the giveaway. But here I am with the massive 106.7 million giveaway. Unlucky I did not get the pet, but at least it is going to be the biggest giveaway I've ever done in the series. And how you join this is on the screen right now. So good luck to all of you guys who want to participate in this giveaway. Before we end the video, I want to say a massive thank you again to Hero Wars for sponsoring this video. These are the sponsorships that allow me to keep the series going and actually put a lot of effort into each episode. So if you want to try the game out, click on the link in the top of the description or the pinned comment. But until next time, guys... Take care.